NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. It's the team of the 80s versus the team of the 90s. The Niners, the Cowboys, they're underway. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you count. Who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. To throw is Prescott. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And good quarterbacks know that when things start to break down and they're forced to flee the pocket, they can often count on their running backs to try and bail them out. That happened on that play. Nice game. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw held in by Washington. Touchdown, Cowboys! Well, I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards to just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you're wondering how fast he was going, Next Gen Stats clocked him at close to 21 miles an hour. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. in the 49ers now. First and 10 at their own 22. Here's Mitchell now to kick off the drive. And he edges forward but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Right back to Mitchell on second down. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Dancing to his left. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That gain on third down, good for 28. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come okay, open? Ready? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. On first down, Lance. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Lance going to throw. This one caught by Kittle. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 26. 
Throwing now is Lance. Left side, that's caught by Mitchell. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Ready? Again, it's Lance. Buying time to his left. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Dorrance Armstrong able to drop him for a loss of a couple. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that that's what's going to go around the league and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it? And I feel okay. awful for right. the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Prescott. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Play action now, Prescott. A quick throw knocked away, it's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. On third down, it's Prescott. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On second and seven, Prescott. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Niners force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. 
Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Double 38. Mitchell is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard Ready, down to the three. So the ball position Ready, now at the three. Here's second and goal. On second down, here's Mitchell. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave them with a fourth and goal. Fourth down field goal try coming, so Lance is off and on comes Robbie Gold. The kick by Gold is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. But I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. To throw once more on second and 10, Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Prescott's throw there, caught by Gallup. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 36. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Off the play fake, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Now Elliott. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They'll try again with Elliott, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott as the first half is winding down. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead is now 14-10. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fields it right around the goal line. 
Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. After the sack on first down, Lance. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Lance. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things work well for possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he gets us up past the 30 to the 32. First down, here's Mitchell. And he's going to have a Niners first down as the tackle made at about the 43 yard line. But once again, it's Mitchell. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They run over center with Mitchell. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. A give here to Mitchell. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. This has been a good drive so far. It's been a running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. And he put up a good fight, but he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. On second down, another shot for Sermon. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Throwing his lance on third down. And it's caught. Touchdown for Adams. George Kittle with a touchdown grab for Trey Lance. And the 49ers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 17-14.
after the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now as they go out on offense is zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Pass to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Prescott looks to throw on first. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 48 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got him the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping, has turned into results. On second and goal, Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott able to connect with Dalton Schultz. And the Cowboys put together a fourth quarter drive to take the lead. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that will make this a four point game. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Hit on the stop, it was Dorrance Armstrong. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Now Lance. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Lance finding Kittle, first down San Francisco. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And that time, the tackle by Malik Hooker. That time, they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame 
had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. On oh, third down, here's Mitchell. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. Let's go! Right back to Mitchell here. And he's got Rome. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the handoff, Mitchell. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Completes it to the tight end, Kettle. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 27 yards there, a first down. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as to understand where they are in the field? Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Ready? Up the middle they go. It's Mitchell. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Elijah Mitchell, 14 yards. And the 49ers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. Gold with the extra point. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Here's Prescott. That's complete to Lamb. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Now Dak. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. And they'll set up shot right near midfield at the 49-yard line. 